Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Natos here coming at you with another Dragon Ball Legends video. And in today's video, we have a special thing to show off to you guys. This is uh, revealed by DBZ Space, my good, good friend Renzi over on DBZ Space once again. Actually, it's not even DBZ Space for this. This is Legends.DBZ Space. Um, he, uh, this was posted on Twitter. I just saw it a few minutes ago. And, uh, so as of right now, we don't know what these guys do as skills, but this is the heroes extremes and the sparkings for the next Dragon Ball Legends banner, the second Dragon Ball Legends banner. So I'm going to reveal them bit by bit. We're talk we'll go through the heroes first and, uh, then we'll hit the extremes and then we'll hit the sparkings. So the first ones are the heroes. Um, we'll start from left to right. We've got second form Frieza, followed by third form Frieza. Um, what looks to be a really excited Captain Genyu. Look at that man's face. He's happy. He is a happy, happy camper. Uh, next up is a new Pycon, another Pycon. So this is a hero Pycon. Uh, as you guys know, on our first banner, we got a Sparking Pycon. Uh, next up is a Pan, also who had a Sparking on the first banner. This one looks to be Pan with Giru. Look at the little Giru. And then, of course, our first Dragon Ball Super character in Frost. So we're already delving into the side of Dragon Ball Super, um, with Frost being the first character to uh, appear from it, I believe. I don't think we have. Yeah, no. No one else is from Dragon Ball Supers yet. So yeah, he is the first character from Dragon Ball Super that is coming into the game. These are all the hero units. So these are your common ones you'll see more often. Um, again, we don't know specifically what their uh, power or what their skills are going to be. But once that, once we find that out, I will drop that in a separate video. And I'll go through every single one of them for you guys there. Um... Next up is the Extreme Units, uh, which they are right there. We have a Extreme Krillin coming out, Extreme Piccolo, uh, Extreme Vegeta, which, you know, this man right here will begin to 5-star because I got to get all my Vegetas to 5-star. Uh, Extreme Yamcha. I never thought I would say those words in any sort of context. Ugh. Extreme Frost and Extreme First Form Frieza. So, not bad. I'm excited about this. Um, a lot of those units are really cool. Of course, I've got to get my, my man, Vegeta, my favorite character, to 5-star, as I will every Vegeta in this game. I have my Sparking Vegeta at 5-star. I have my Hero Vegeta at 5-star. So, yeah, I'm going to do whatever it takes to make sure these characters are 5-starred because Vegeta needs to be 5-starred everywhere. Before I get into the sparking units, I do want to once again say thank you to every single one of you guys who came out to my live stream earlier today. You guys are amazing. Um, you made it a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun grinding Bardock, talking all the craziness on Dokkan, um, and just overall having a chill of time. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Um, Thursday, barring anything crazy happening on Dokkan, uh, Thursday will be a Dragon Ball Legends stream. So be ready for that. We'll probably play some PvP, even though I hate it. Um, we'll farm up and try to get Goku uh, soul boosted again and we'll continue working on Vegeta soul boosting. So make sure you guys do pop in, smash that bell so it lets you know when I'm going live that night. And of course, make sure you smash that bell because it lets you know when videos like this one drop on the channel. So now let's go and talk about the sparking units. I'm going to do it one at a time. So the first one is a Gohan. We have a Masenko Gohan as one of these sparking units coming in the second Dragon Ball Legends banner. Um, I'm actually excited because Gohan deserves a lot of love, especially Kid Gohan. Kid Gohan doesn't get a lot of love. And uh, it's Saiyan Saga, Masenko Gohan, which is pretty cool. Um, again, I do not know what they do yet. There's no telling what they do as of right now. They're, it's not 100% shown. Again, once that is done, I will even link a, leave a link in the description of this video for that video when that video drops. Um, and of course, second sparking, we only have three sparkings this banner. Second sparking is Captain Genyu. Captain Genyu, as you can see already, was a hero unit. Um, we had a hero Captain Genyu in this banner. 
but we are also getting a sparking Captain Ginyu. So it's going to be interesting. I wonder if they're going to do any like body changing abilities, um, see how that mechanic will work in the game. But um, it's really interesting. Before we get into the final sparking, is how interesting this game can probably be twisted and changed because it's really young. Like it's only been out for less than a month now, and you know, being able to see the new characters as they drop and like experience this game from the beginning because I didn't get that luxury with Dokkan is actually quite refreshing and quite interesting. So I'm definitely going to be sticking with this game for a while. It's a lot of fun. I'm having a great time with it. Um, but yeah, let's get into the final reveal, the final sparking unit. I'm just going to get rid of this black bar is a full powered Frieza. Full power Frieza is one of the three sparking units on this next banner. I am excited because I really want to, to have a full power Frieza on the first banner, but I was okay with them not having him right away. Cause you know, Super Saiyan Goku was on it. Picon, Piccolo, Pan, Vegeta. We had five sparking units on the first banner. And so seeing Full Power Frieza on the second banner is going to be great. I'm going to definitely go in on this banner. Um, I want to get Full Power Frieza to five star. I know seven star is the max, but that is a lot of units, a lot of things to get. I just want to get them to five star to call it. Five star is fine to me because um, you can get six and seven star over time. I'm not worried about that. But... I'm definitely going to be going in on this, so make sure you guys do go check out. Let me uh, bring it up here on uh, the board. Nope, that ain't it. Give me one. Oh, that ain't it either. I'm going to grab it really quickly from my Dokkan thing here. This is a little bit weird. Okay, you know what? should just have it on my computer here. But make sure you guys go check out. Ooh. Where is it? Big drive. That's it. Nope. Why can't I find it all of a sudden? Oh, there it is. Make sure you guys go check out UF Loots. Um, if you guys want to get in on uh, Dragon Ball Legends and all this getting Chrono Crystals and all that stuff, they do offer services uh, for it. Uh, the prices will be on their thing, but I can bring up the prices here for you guys as well. So you guys can see those really quickly. Like I said, it's a good way if you want to get it. If you really want to start whaling on in this game, come on in, join UF Loots, hit them up on Twitter because they will get this done for you. They will get you these Chrono Gems and they will get you started on your way to becoming a whale in this game. Um, I'm looking for. I'm definitely gonna be hanging them up because I want to get full power Frieza to five star. I'm definitely gonna be doing what I can. So, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, make sure you guys hit that awesome like button down below. If you want to see more, make sure you, and you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. And like I said before, make sure you smash that bell. The bell lets you know when I'm going live and when new uh, videos like this drop. So make sure you guys check it out, and I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Till next time, guys, this is Omnitoast. May the power protect you, and laters.